I've always been on uh, some boards. I would recommend to people, even if you're early career CEO, founder type, is be on at least one other board, but not more than one. It's good. Uh, and if you have a, you know, and you should as a CEO, community of other CEOs you hang out with, right? And get on each other's boards, right? Because you each learn a lot by working on someone else's business. It's like a lens back on your own business if you want a sort of business reason to do it. But you'll find it it's just a lot of fun. At least I do. It's a lot more fun working on someone else's business than working <laughs> on your own. And it uh, helps draw that distinction of being in the business versus working on the business, uh, working in versus working on. Uh, and yeah, those are good concepts from bad about mid distance, about how to be a good board member. You don't want to be too close and too far away. And it just really helps you understand that board role that you're dealing with as a CEO uh, and you know, by seeing it from the other side. So I've always been part of uh, different boards, but certainly, again, another Brad story is uh, at the end of Sengrid, he said to me, he's like, hey, you know, we're going to go a different direction. We're hiring Smear. And you know, he said, you could be on 13 boards and still feel retired and unemployed. I'm like, okay, if I got on eight boards there in probably the fall of 14 or 2015, and uh, let's just say I felt like I was an oracle about the paycheck because I felt like I was busy and I'm like, uh, you know, and uh, one company had a CEO search come up uh, pretty quickly and uh, I knew the venture people on the board. They said, hey, Jim, why don't you do it? And I'm like, because I'm done being an operator, right? It's like, been there, right? And, but, uh, but I have some strong opinions about how to do CEO search as well and how to use recruiters and uh, come up with your criteria and do a whole process uh, around CEO recruitment and onboarding. How about, how about three tips on first time board member? Anybody that's listening, they, it's their first you know, board assignment. What would you tell them? Wow, okay. Uh, so tip one is mid distance. Find that right cadence uh, with that CEO uh, and that team. If you're too far away, you can't be helpful. If you're too close, you're caught in the daily drama. And sometimes you'll be too close and times times you'll be too far away and you'll have to kind of find uh, that cadence or that closeness. And maybe the second one will be uh, around cadence with the CEOs. Uh, mm -hmm. Probably half the boards, I just do ad hoc. You know, call me when you need me. Uh, you want, as a board member, you want to be helpful, but not intrusive. Mm -hmm. uh, as a CEO, uh, you know, I don't like intrusive board members. I'll put it that way. I like running the business. And uh, when I joined the same grade board, I told uh, those board members, I met them in the fall before I joined, I said, if I build or buy any battleships, I'll let you know, right? And by using some humor, but just says like, you know, the, the issue around and have clarity around who makes which decisions. Uh, and so that's sort of a, a, you know, a big thing. And when, when I think I'm hiring executives, we're going to go do stuff. It's like, I see a lot of power sort of the management team and the board has a, you know, so obviously some key responsibilities like hiring and firing the CEO and you know, mergers and acquisitions and IPO and, you know, financing, but that's kind of it. I take kind of a, a narrow view. Uh, and then probably the other issue with the, uh, the other third sort of tip for a board member, if you will, is it's, it, you will make an impact at most once a year. So especially new board members, they show up and you see them like, oh, I need to make an impact. I need to justify while I'm here, right? I think that's very bad behavior. It's okay to just shut up and listen for, you know, let a few meetings go by, watch a few quarterly cycles, Go by, right? You know, what did they say? You just be quiet and everything's your wise and open your mouth and everyone realizes, you know, oh, maybe you don't know so much about that topic. Uh, I think that's, that's good advice because a CEO, uh, if you're an early CEO, uh, you earn your pay one day a quarter. And when someone told me that, I said, bullshit, do you know what I do every day? It's like, oh my gosh, you know, it's like, and but then when that day came around, I'm like, oh, that's what they're talking about. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. The management meetings and the all hands meetings and the firefighting between sales and engineering and all that stuff. That's just stuff. But one day a quarter, you'd be like, oh, yeah, you know, you need to exit a founder or fire a VP or tell a customer you're not going to deliver what you promised to deliver or tell an investor your results are less than spectacular and they've got to take it to their <laughs> to their partner meeting and get a bridge loan to help you get to, you know, just those are the days, right? Where you, as a CEO, you earn, so as a board member, you know, once a year, uh, and if I can give a fourth tip, okay. it should be what all the doctors sign up to, right? The Hippocratic Oath, first do no harm. Mm -hmm. And as Good. board members, I'll say we are generally, we've had some success somewhere. And so we have a lot of confidence oftentimes in how we say things. And we don't have a lot of knowledge about the particular business we're looking at. 
uh, and I join boards of companies I know like nothing about the underlying industry. And just like when I've been CEO, I don't really know anything about you know, email infrastructure at SendGrid, or I'm not really a math person at Crystal Ball. I wasn't a security person at Verisap. I don't know anything about baby photos at my other company that I started. It's all about the process. Mm-hmm. Um, and I lost my chain of thought. <laughs> oh, uh, the, you know, the first tip, people. fourth, fourth yeah. tip on the board. Yep. Yeah, for this, do no harm because you'll have high confidence in your opinions, but you'll have low knowledge. And in the confidence yeah. knowledge, you know, f- quadrants, you're in the high confidence, low knowledge is very, very risky. And if you're the CEO, use that framework to analyze your board members and say, is this person speaking from a position of high confidence, but low knowledge? Mm-hmm. If so, you need to discount what they're saying. Mm-hmm. If they're high confidence, high knowledge, like a surgeon, right? They're confident and they're in their area of expertise. Awesome. Uh, and then you can look at the other parts of that quadrant, but the, the one to really watch out for and the one that board members and CEOs tend to step in all the time uh, is high confidence, low knowledge. Because That's we're extrapolating stuff. our playbooks from you know, what worked in a different situation. So a great mm-hmm. interview question for CEOs or board members is how are you going to adapt your playbook for the facts on the ground here? If you think today's tip or guest interview can help someone you know, please share this with them. If you've enjoyed today's episode, please subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. If you're listening on YouTube, don't forget to hit that little bell next to the subscribe button so you can be notified when we release a new episode. Our show features entrepreneurs, business executives, and the stories behind how they got there, as well as daily tips on career advice and job interviews. You can visit riderflex.com to learn more about us and get information on the recruiting and consulting services we provide. Thanks so much for listening and have a great day.